Meanwhile, Central Texas is headed towards warmer weather finally. But now there's a new major concern, a demand for water. Many cities are under a boil water notice as crews race to fix pipes. Six News reporter Matt Lively was in Colleen today where water is being distributed to citizens as they wait for hopeful news. And a little water, they had no heater, no, no, none of that. So it affected them pretty bad. Todd Arnold is a Colleen resident working on Fort Hood. He's one of the lucky ones in the city to still have running water despite having to boil it. Many of his friends haven't had the same fortunes. A lot of them had to go to stores to get water, and even at the stores, they ran out of water, they ran out of everything. So they're taking it pretty hard right now. So, and I'm a military, I'm in the military. So, on top of that, they have to go to like military help and all that to help them get water. So it's it's a struggle for them. The city announced Friday that hundreds of water lines are frozen, and they are still discovering new leaks. Thousands are without running water. KISD announced that there would be no classes on Monday. When classes resume will depend on inspections done at their 27 facilities. Some have experienced intense water damage, while others still are experiencing power outages. We have two teams ready to deploy uh, to one assess and then further inspect uh, and prepare our campuses uh, for a safe return. Uh, this entails uh, ensuring that as we enter buildings, if there is power, uh, that um, uh, we don't have standing water. Um, if we have standing water, we've got to pause. They do expect to have grab and go meal systems in place and emotional support services available. The city did set up a fill up station where you can bring your own containers. If you need water this weekend, you can visit that station at 805 West Jasper Drive. It will run from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. In Colleen, Matt Lively, 6 News. And before you pack the car, today they limited those fill stations to 10 gallons per household, but that number may change as the weekend progresses. We will try to update you online.